For the Love of Doom by Waltor. A Doom episode. It occurred to me that I don't actually know if they're all E1 themed. It is just one episode. But we shall see. Okay. This is Sinister Praxis, 195, 42 and 3. Jeezy Doom episode. Yeah, it looks like we're staying knee deep in the dead ish. Ow. see either one of them and <laughs> got lucky. Alright. So we kind of get a little bit of a... Yeah, that's definitely inspired by M3. That's where I came from, right? Okay. There's a red door there. There's a door there. Blue door there. Blue door up in here. Lift there. Lots of stuff right off the bat. You gotta make a decision. I really like that. Always like that about classic Doom. Even if it's, um, even if it's a, even if the decision doesn't amount to much, like maybe some of these areas are pretty quick dead ends. I like that, but I also like when you've got full freedom of choosing the path. Hmm. I'm actually gonna try the lift first, I think. Yeah, once again here, you definitely notice the lighting being not um, very significant. Especially with such a tall room that's kind of mono-textured. Lighting would make a big difference. This feels like a room where the lighting will go out on me. Yeah. I mean, you can tell that Walter really looked at Knee Deep in the Dead. There's areas that remind you of different parts. You know, you get some computer station vibes in this room. You got uh, the toxin refinery skylight in that one area. Yeah, it's nice use of the crate top right there. But yeah, for all I know, this could be entirely optional. Yellow key could be optional. You know, it's... That's kind of how Doom went, and that's how this episode has been so far. So, Alright, we get a blue key first. I have, uh, I believe I maxed the first two maps, basically on FDAs, so... Well, yeah, they were FDAs. I died a couple of times in one of them, not at all in the second one, so... I've found the secret so far. This one only with three. Um... We are expecting a secret exit, although it is GZ Doom. I don't think it's it's tested on GZ Doom. I don't think it's actually in UDMF or Hexen or anything like that. So I would guess the secret exit is still going to be from this map. But we could be wrong about that. See that wrong color over there? Right here, this should be gray. Oh, I see. I was uh, wondering if you could get stuck in there. Something I actually like to do with my maps is if I find a soft lock. I'll turn it into a secret. So, I tend to look for soft locks in other people's maps. Hmm. Maybe that's my secret exit. Alright, here's some lighting. 
It seems like whenever we have lighting, it's very distinct. It's never subtle, and subtle lighting is very powerful in Doom. It really gives you some some mood um, differentiation, and yeah, that's that's something that we see in Doom. I actually think you first saw that in Doom 2, right? Oh no, no, that's in Doom. That's Need to Empty, right? I'm not actually sure what that opens, though, is the problem. Well, something in here, obviously. Gotta find it. Ah. Heck opens. Is it a two part secret? I need to open this door first. Go to the lift here. Go ahead and save this game. So yeah, again, an entirely optional area. Nothing of consequence in there. Just some ammo, basically. And this is all because I picked... Oh, there's the red door. See, I got to this blue door. Could have gone in it. But I wanted to do the other area. So yeah, I really like how you're often shown the doors early, and you gotta kinda remember to come back and use them. I'm pretty sure I've seen two blue doors already. There's one there, and I think I can access another one there, so they're completely nowhere near each other, so which one do I take first? I think you come down right here, so you're probably expected to do that one, so I'm gonna do this one. That's all I got out of that. Well, I wasn't expecting to get a plasma gun. But we got a plasma gun. That's probably another secret because this goes up and down by itself. Actually, a pretty nice idea for a secret. Ah, here we go. Is this what that opened? Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Really cool stuff. Really cool secrets. 
been probably my favorite part of the maps. Because, I mean, you can, you can figure them out. They're not too difficult. But they're clever nonetheless. I am going to go back to the other blue door. See if that connects. Because I don't have a suit for this. <laughs> We've seen this before in this wad. Huh. Interesting. It appears you have to go over there because... I think I need a key. Yeah, yellow, okay. I do like how there are lots of rockets scattered throughout, so you're kind of told, look, if you didn't get a rocket launcher, you better go find one, you know? There's, there's one there for you. Does this all raise up? That's pretty cool. No longer damaging flora. So you only have to go through- oh crap. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying any attention. I'm actually gonna resurrect myself here. I'll just go down to about- I was only at like 30 health, right? So... Although I'm also wasting my mega armor, so we'll, we'll, we'll say 40. We'll call it even. Um... Yeah, this really cool idea how uh, you only have to go through the damaging... You do have to go through the damaging floor once. There, there may be a, ra a radiation suit somewhere, but... I forgot about the plasma gun, too. So yeah, there may be a radiation suit somewhere, but uh, if there's not, you only have to go through the damaging floor once, and then you get the nice bridge or whatever there. Really, really cool idea. I mean, the execution on these maps is just, I think, really good. Like, what's the name? Um, um, Walter really thinks about you know, the implications of the choices you make, the implications of what happens if you go that way first, what happens when you have to backtrack, and let's put some more monsters in, you know, things like that. Just seems to seems to be well tested, these maps. Which is unfortunately not always something you can say when you're playing somebody's map. I, okay, I did go in here, and it was a dead end. No, so yellow and red are both right off of here. And I would guess that one of them basically leads to the secret exit. Hmm. That could be something. The fact that that's the yellow door is intriguing. It's actually very interesting. The map tells you something right here. You know what the map tells you? Because I, Walter is not some idiot. I can tell that. So, wait, what's this? If that like lifts something else as well. Hmm. 
does not appear to be anything back there. Very interesting. That could be something. But anyway, as I was saying, Walter is not an idiot, so... There, at first glance, it appears you came in the yellow door. Why is this door also yellow? I'll tell you why it's also yellow. Because you can get red before you get yellow. I, I believe... Yeah, there's probably a way to come it down this way first. And then you'd get red, but you wouldn't have yellow. So you'd have to go this way. Maybe. Maybe not. This seems like the final route, actually. Oh boy. Stop looking at my map and start shooting. I'm gonna get killed up here. For sure. Yikes, this is very dark. <laughs> yeah, once again, I feel like I'm playing pretty well, I'm finding secrets, and just not a lot of health in the map. I'm not entirely sure what's going on at this point. Oh, there's one more red door, okay. Yeah, certainly whatever's going on here definitely feels like uh, you can take things in different orders and make some decisions on what you want to do. Yeah, this is more of a Shores of Hell area again, which we had one in the first map. Wow. So yeah, here this is a nice, uh, nice little subtle lighting. I mean, the whole area is pretty dark. Just got this one area lit up a little bit. Yeah, this is very sure as a hellish now. A lot like M1. Okay. 
One time switch. I wonder if that has to do with the secret exit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. It's not gonna end well. Crap. There's an exit. So yeah, maybe we do, maybe this does kind of cover the whole, uh, the whole thing. Maybe we get into some Shores of Hell stuff next. I mean, I think this is a regular exit, right? Yeah. Try to find a secret exit. What's behind that barren door? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what it is. I think I might have missed a secret. For the first time in this wad. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get all of them. I think I said I maxed all the maps so far. I, I didn't... No, I never actually got the fourth secret in the very first map, so... I'm just talking nonsense here. Oh. To me... This is kind of out of place. It feels like that should be a secret of some sort. And then this right here is very strange. It definitely feels like it could be something. Ah, it is something. All right, excellent. That'll do it. Perfect. All right, so map three. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, again, just the 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 freedom to play the map how you want. Uh, completely optional areas. Really interesting secrets. This one only three, but really interesting nonetheless. And just the fact that you know you've got double doors. You got doors marked yellow on either side, meaning you can come to it from either side. So many different ways you can play the levels. Really good stuff. Um, honestly, seeming in some cases seeming even more non-linear than original Doom and more exploratory. So yeah, I mean I'm having fun with this map set. And I, I do appreciate that I appear to be going into a, a Shores of Hell section, so this whole thing might actually be a whole mini Doom rather than just a Knee Deep in the Dead replacement, which is obviously what it is. It's an E1 replacement, but conceptually I think we're going to be going into Shores of Hell pretty soon here, so I welcome that as well. Cool stuff. We'll take a look at the secret map next. <laughs>